Hello and welcome to our fifth video about pattern recognition with a neural network on an FPGA. In this video I show you three exercises, three experiments that you can do to learn more about this application. The neural network detects four symbols and the output nodes indicate whether they have detected one of the symbols. Then we have output processing and we translate this recognition into four colors. And in the VHDL code you can see that we make a small simplification. The value of the output layer is a 8-bit value between 0 and 255 and the VHDL code checks for the four symbols if they are larger than the threshold of 127. However, we do not check if several of the symbols are larger than 127. So maybe you have one value that is slightly larger than the threshold and another one that is much larger. We do not check this and this is something that you could implement. So checking if one of the symbols is larger than the threshold and checking which of the symbols is the largest and then indicate that color. The second exercise regards the training. You have training data and uh, let's have a look at the output. If we zoom in, you see that training is good, but not perfect. So you could uh, repeat the training, provide more, provide other training data, or maybe increase the number of hidden nodes. Or you could um, do training with other symbols to detect. We have four symbols provided, uh, but for example, you can take the letter U in four different orientations. So upward, to the left, to the right, and reverse. And try to detect these symbols. For training, I recommend to use uh, different variations to have a lot of training data. So have the letter U in um, different fonts, in different uh, versions, in different sizes. Maybe rotate uh, the letter a little bit to the left and the right to get more training data. The third experiment would be a real post-processing of the neural network results. At the moment we are just uh, indicating the result by a color, but normally you want to understand a scene, you want to interpret a scene. And um, this can be done by post-processing. And here you have to distinguish between FPGA fabric and CPU-based processing. In an FPGA fabric you can do a lot of pixel by pixel processing. For example, having a 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three region and uh, doing a majority function, so thereby reducing the result to one pixel. The CPU is more suited for higher level processing for interpretation of results. And um, such a CPU can be in the FPGA or can be outside. So as an experiment, you can first have a look at the FPGA fabric. You can count the X and Y position. You should ignore the image border because um, we have some misinterpretation there. Then you can try to reduce the detected symbol to one position. And I recommend to have a look at literature with uh, the keywords I provided here. Then the FPGA fabric can signal the X and Y position and the symbol to the CPU. And you can have a data format there, you can define it for yourself. So you probably need an X position, a Y position, and the symbol that has been detected. And it could also be a good idea to have a special code for the end of frame, so that the CPU knows when a new frame begins. Then in the CPU, you want to receive the data format, find duplicate symbols by calculating the distance um, that should be smaller than the threshold, and perform evaluation. So you can count the symbols, you can search the center of the symbols, things like that. If you want to experiment with a VHDL test bench, my recommendation is to write the data format from the FPGA to a text file. You should simulate several frames so that you have a lot of data. And then you can evaluate these data with a PC-based program. And if you do that, you can have a lot of interesting experiments. And um, if you have an FPGA bottom hand, you could also then use this algorithm and transfer it to an embedded CPU. So these are some experiments that you can do 
to work with the code that we provide and learn more by doing your own experiments. Thanks for watching and much success with our application.